What's unique about this project is that it's built around a 60 year old pepper tree and it focuses its views up at Mount Kembla. This building is a 24 hour building. During the day it's Adam's office for his building company and at night it can be turned into a home to sleep in. Introducing our first ever furniture collaboration. A flexible and multifunctional piece designed with small spaces in mind. Made to last with beautiful and sustainably sourced plywood. Flat pack furniture as you've never seen it before. Meet the limited edition Kitter Colin. Available now at nevertoosmall.com. I'm Alexander Symes of ASA and we advance sustainable architecture. I'm Adam Suter, director of Suter Built and the owner of Pepper Tree Passive House. Pepper Tree Passive House is located about an hour and a half south of Sydney near Wollongong in Unindera and we're in Darwell country. As a client, my brief was pretty difficult. It had to be dual purpose. Everything had to be concealed really fast, but also aesthetically pleasing. Critical to the brief was meeting the Passive House standard, and that has five key criteria. One is really high performance insulation, really high performance glazing systems, low infiltration so the building isn't too leaky, a heat recovery ventilation system, and thermal bridge free construction. The first step was to connect the dwelling to the landscape. To counteract the slope, we built the new secondary dwelling on the same level as the existing house and brought all the decks up to that same level so that the steepness of the site has been overcome. On the north side, we have our kitchen living area and on the southern side, we have our bedroom, laundry, bathroom. So as you enter the property, there's concrete stepping stones. These were made with leftover concrete that we used during the pour. At the end, that's the start of the reclaimed timber stairs that go in between the original building and this new secondary building. And above you is these bifacial solar panels that shade out that summer sun coming into the highlight northern windows and generate electricity for the house. As you get to the top of the stairs, you're welcomed by a triple glazed door that allows light to come through, but also helps with the performance of the dwelling. As you enter the living space, situated at the end of the wing, there's joinery, which is made up of paper rock, a cellulose based material that's fully recyclable at the end of its life. And that is also carried through to the kitchen. The surface is finished with a forest green laminate to bring a bit of the green from the pepper tree outside in. Hidden in some pocket doors is an office. Above the joinery in the living room, all the way to the kitchen and narrow windows. And these bring in light and direct solar radiation to the thermal battery. In the living area, there's a custom daybed. It was made in-house using leftover flooring from the build. It's got an integrated side piece that's cut on an angle that allows you to move through the living area freely. In the evening, the trundle can be pulled out and it turns into a second bedroom. The kitchen sits on the other end of the wing. In the kitchen, there's a large sink, an induction cooktop, a range hood hidden behind joinery, an integrated dishwasher, a combo microwave oven and a hidden fridge. Above the kitchen counter is a floating timber shelf with an LED light underneath which lights up the countertop and washes light all over the recycled convict brick splashback. As opposed to a round dining table, this angled breakfast bar is a much more spatially efficient use of a dining area. The bedroom is through a custom-made OSB sliding door, which seamlessly slides into a pocket in the wall. The bedside tables are integrated into the joinery to save space, and they are floating shelves. The wardrobe joinery is a combination of storage for clothes, but also it has another office hotspot with 
bifold pocket doors. All the handles are recycled eucalyptus black butt. The Murphy bed allows you to change the space from a bedroom into an office. So once you push it up, there's actually a secret drop down desk underneath it. The laundry forms a tight hallway through to the bathroom. The large closet space besides the washing machine has storage for the household items and the heat recovery ventilation unit. The bathroom has large mirrors with helmet lighting above it, which extend all the way through to the shower. We have a nice spacious shower with a rain head coming from the ceiling. All the tapware and fixtures in the bathroom are from Wood Melbourne. The central deck can be accessed either from the laundry or from the kitchen. It's built around an existing pepper tree. The exterior walls of the building are burnt shishiki barn cladding, which is a Japanese treatment of burning and charring the timber. This makes it termite resistant and fire retardant. This project is a great example of having less and enjoying more. So build small, build or high performance, and then we will have a robust and future-proofed building typology for our future climate. It is unpredictable. Thanks for watching. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com slash submissions.